The muzzle device on the end of your gun makes a big difference. Surefire makes some of the best out there. Andrew, let's talk about some of the variety you have here. Yeah, so really there's three primary categories. You have your muzzle brakes, your flash hiders, and your war comps. Okay. Right here is our muzzle brake. It's a ported device. Essentially, it's meant to keep the rifle flat shooting and soft shooting, so it reduces your recoil and reduces your muzzle rise. With that comes a little bit of concussion and a little bit of flash. If you're trying to mitigate your flash, a flash hider is obviously a better option. That reduces about 99% of your flash. We wow. have open tine designs as well as closed tine designs. Um, however, it doesn't have any of the muzzle rise mitigation or recoil reduction that a muzzle brake has. Right. With that, we have our war comp, which is basically a ported version of our flash hider. So those ports that are on top help keep the rifle flat and on target okay. while still maintaining your flash hiding capabilities. And people would say, well, wait a minute, how does it do that? I mean, how much flash can you actually still reduce if you're reducing the muzzle rise? Yeah, still 98%. It's really, really effective at reducing your flash, okay. but still maintaining you know, a nice controllable recoil pattern. Now, another thing you were telling me is these are the SOCOM muzzle devices, which match up with your suppressors. Exactly. So these SOCOM muzzle devices, they're meant to mount our SOCOM series of suppressors. Okay. And with that, there's very, very high machining tolerances on those to make sure the accuracy standards are maintained when mounting a suppressor. Gotcha. In your hand and in my hand, you have the Eliminator. I have the Pro Comp. Um, these are not meant to mount a suppressor, and therefore we don't need to maintain those same tolerances, and we're able to cut some cost out of them. Um, the performance is exactly the same, so flash hiding performance is right on par. The same thing with the muzzle brake. Okay. Um, just a much more cost-effective option if you don't plan on mounting a suppressor. Well, there are trade-offs for each one of these, so I want to get to the range. I want to show you the difference. So Andrew, what I wanted to do is show people the differences in these muzzle devices because some are designed to reduce recoil, muzzle flip, and some are flash, but it's kind of a trade-off. Absolutely. Yeah, so what you have there is our SFMB 556. That's okay. our muzzle brake for 556. All right, recoil reduction and muzzle flip reduction. Woo! Yeah, definitely reduces muzzle flip and the recoil but you can feel the concussion on that one. Absolutely, and you can see that it has a little bit of flash, I mean, even in, in daytime. Awesome at keeping the gun nice and flat and really, really soft shooting, but a little bit of concussion, a little bit of flash. Now, that's the difference, is when you shoot that in dark, it's going to have quite a bit of flash because it's not worried about reducing the flash signature. What do we have here? So that's our flash hider, our closed tine flash hider does a really good job at mitigating your flash signature. However, it's obviously not doing a whole lot for the recoil reduction or for the muzzle rise. Let's shoot this one, see what it looks like. Now what's interesting is it's not about the recoil reduction, but the flash reduction is impressive. Yep. When you shoot this indoors or in low light, the flash reduction is dramatic and that's really important for whether you're shooting competition stuff, for, for you know helping your visual aid, but also military and law enforcement, obviously super important. 100%. Now, this one I know is your favorite one. Yeah, so this is our war comp. This is a directionally controlled flash hider. Has all the properties of a, of a flash hider with those ports on the top that really help mitigate the muzzle rise. Does still have a little bit of recoil. But I'm watching you, and there really is no muzzle flip. To no, this. it's it's very flat. I mean, it, and it's a really good do-it-all muzzle device. You know, does that that flash hiding capabilities as well as keeping the gun nice and flat, which is really really shootable. All right, surefire muzzle devices. It's time to upgrade your AR. <laughs>